I asked the AI, God, what are these titles? Who can, AI is not coming for our jobs. It's a tale as old as time. It's a tale of the battle between machine and woman. It is, of course, the tale of who can write titles better? An AI machine or me, Zuli Rain. Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Zuli Rain and I create videos about how to grow your blogging empire. A huge part of growing your blogging empire is titles and getting people to click on the content that you work so hard on, whether it's email, whether it's a blog post, literally anything. And I've heard rumors, we've all heard the troubling rumors that AI is coming for our jobs and AI is gonna do things better than we can. And I wanted to put that to the test. I pitted titles that I have actually written that have clicks and have been written into whole blog posts and I pitted them against an AI generated title, I polled my audience on which one they would click on. And that's what this video is about. Stay until the end if you wanna see the bloopers, of which there are a lot, as always. First of all, a quick shout out to my sponsor. This video is sponsored by Hot Ghost Writer. It is a one-stop shop book production company for authors and publishers. Later in this video, I'll be sharing a really exciting opportunity for any fiction writers who follow me, so stay tuned. Now let's get into the meat of the video. Who's gonna win? AI or me, Zuli. First, I decided which AI tool I was gonna use. There are like infinite numbers of AI tools out there. What I wanted was something that was backed by GPT-3, which is supposed to be the best engine for AI. And I found one called storylab.ai and they have a blog title generator, which is exactly what I was after. I entered three different topics, cats, side hustles, and personal development, which are three topics I write in a fair amount, so I had some data to back up my side. Then I gave a little bit of a, of a description of what the blog post would be about. And cats are awesome. I love cats, just as an example. And then I clicked inspire me. From this list that it's about to generate, it takes its sweet time generating it, in order to be not only fair, but like actually give AI the best sporting chance, I looked at these and I clicked on the one, I selected the one that had the most likelihood of being clicked. So for example, I did not choose 25 Cats Yo Gabba Gabba episode for obvious reasons. Then I went into my own backlog and I selected a story that I had written fairly recently on the same subject. I did this for all three subjects and then I took to Instagram to ask my audience what they thought. So I have 2000 followers on Instagram, um, not a huge sample size, so not overly scientific, but of those, I got 400 people roughly who viewed each one of the stories and I got about 100 votes, just over 100 votes for each one. What I'm gonna do now is share my results of you know the AI versus me for each of the three subjects. I'm gonna show you the three lessons that I've learned about that. Before we get into the results, let's take a minute and enjoy this brief message from my sponsor, Hot Ghost Writer. So let me tell you about this awesome opportunity for you, for you, a fiction writer. Hot Ghost Writer is a book production company. They offer everything from book writing, copy, developmental editing, book design services, audiobook production, and more. They work with major and small publishers to produce hundreds of books and novels and titles at any given time. And right now, this is the exciting bit for you, they are looking for new freelance writers to add to their roster. If you love to write and you love to get paid for writing, <laughs> who doesn't, we all do, then this could be a really good opportunity for you. If you are a prolific writer and if you have 20 to 30 hours spare in a week, you can start earning up to $2,000 a month with weekly payments as soon as you get hired. All you need is a true love of writing and a fiction sample that you can send using the link in the video description. I will also put it here. You wanna go to hotghostwriter.com forward slash pages forward slash jobs. Send in your application and let me know how you get on. Okay, back to the results. Let's look at the data. And I wanna, I wanna mention, I didn't tell my audience which one was AI and which one was me. So this was as unbiased as I could possibly make it. First, cats, because I love cats. Um, I started with five things you don't know about cats. This was AI generated, a little bit of clickbait, a little bit of intrigue and fun and spice. I thought it would do pretty well. Um, my audience disagreed, only 44%, so less than half of the 400 people, of the 100 people who clicked on this, actually said that they would click on that title. When compared with my own title that I wrote called Four Harmful Myths That Hurt Cats, I got 61% clickable. All 
All right, so the second one, the side hustles theme. I tried five side hustles that will never make you rich. That one was mine. And I pitted it against three ways to make money by using your money skills. So this one was a bit narrower. 64% of people said that they would click on mine. Only 63% of people said that they would click on the AI one. So a little, a little more narrow gap, but still mine came out on top. And third, personal development. I went with one of the ones I wrote recently, six little habits I swapped for a happier, more productive life. 84% um, of people said that they would click on that. And I compared it with three self-improvement tips to help you level up in 2022, which was the AI generated one that got a 68% click. So not as good. The three things I learned, number one, people will still click on AI titles. This one surprised me. I really believed that nobody was gonna click on stuff like um, three self-improvement tips to help you level up in 2022. That sounds so vague to me. I mean, like what even is um, three ways to make money using your skills? It sounded I, like I would never click on those, but I have realized that not everyone is like me. And it was really useful to do this experiment and learn that AI titles are not as clickable as good human ones, for example, but they're still more clickable than I thought. Number two, AI is not better than me. AI is probably not better than you either. The thing is, AI is pulling from so much, like AI text generators are pulling from all sorts of places on the internet. And you could see in the example I showed you, like sometimes it pulls titles that make no sense. The best of nine gag. There are cat pictures of on nine gag, but it's not that title is not relevant to the topic that I was trying to write about. AI on its own is pretty weak. Like I tried to give AI the very best chance by picking the one out of all the options it gave me that I would click on. And even so it still didn't do really well. And third, you know your audience. You know your audience better than an AI ever could. If you're stumped on what to write and you really can't think of any titles, definitely feel free to use any one of the thousands of startup-y free AI tools to come up with some title ideas. You can even feel free to use them. Nothing's, you know, nothing's wrong with that and it could be a great way to get started. But definitely also feel free to tinker with the titles that, that it provides and rely on your own specific experience of your audience to know what they want from you and what they're looking for in a title that they would click on. AI is just, like aggregating a bunch of different titles all over the internet. You are crafting a title that you know from experience and your, your own writer intuition, what people are gonna click on. That is a super important lesson to remember. My conclusion of me versus the machine, of AI versus Zuli, I am gonna go ahead and say that writers, human writers with real meat, human flesh fingers do better than AI pretty much any day of the week. You can use AI as a tool, but I wouldn't rely on it as a way to create better headlines than you just yet. Okay, everybody, thank you so much for watching this video. As I mentioned, there'll be bloopers at the end. If you're interested in that writing opportunity, use the link in my bio. And don't forget, if you wanna get weekly emails on how to grow your blogging empire, definitely subscribe to my mailing list. You will also get a totally free five-day email course on how to get started with Medium, which is the blogging platform I write on. Thanks again so much for watching. Have a wonderful weekend, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye, everybody. So here, what I did was I entered a topic like cats. I entered three different topics, cats, um, st side, three, So of who writes the better headlines, me or the internet. If you want to get, um, if you want to get regular emails with writing tips and opportunities, if you want to get regular writing emails, definitely sign up to, no, hang on. If you want to get weekly emails on how to be your best writer,